Um, Viggo Mortensen, congratulations on the success of your new film. Thank you. Very happy to to have it be at the New York Film Festival. So. You've collaborated with so many amazing directors, uh, Alonzo, but also David Cronenberg, Brian De Palma, Peter Jackson. Can you talk about how you approach your collaborations and how you decided to work with uh, Lissandro Alonzo? Well, every you know, I, don't, I know what Lissandro's movies look like before I worked with him, but I don't know what the shoots were like. I, I imagine since we had basically the the same crew he's had before that, that people had a good time or they wouldn't have come back because it's not the easiest shoot. You know, we're in the middle of nowhere and kind of a uh, tough in terms of climate and landscapes that we're shooting in, but it, it was a lot of fun. It was like a family deal. And, and like David Cronenberg, he's someone who, who never uh, raises his voice. He never shouts unless it's for joy or, you know, laughing about something or other. He's, he's a very even-tempered uh, director and uh, you know, has a great eye, a really great eye for the landscape and for uh, believable human behavior, which is what you're hoping to get across as an actor. You know, it's the first time he'd worked with actors, and, uh, but he seemed very, very calm doing so. So I think he... It was a big step for him, not just to work with actors, but with a cinematographer like Timo Salminen from Finland, uh, who's known for shooting Karasmaki's movies. Um, working off of more of a, still not your average script, but a, more of a through line in terms of narrative and actually had a script writer who's uh, an interesting person in his own right, Fabian Casas, who's a, who's a very well-known poet down there and a friend of ours. So we, we had a lot of fun. Uh, for much of the film, you're not only in the middle of nowhere, but you're not saying anything. Can you talk about what it's like to act out those scenes? Well, with very few exceptions, like um, A Dangerous Method, uh, where I played Freud and never stopped talking, uh, I'm... I'm kind of accustomed to trying to make things work without words because those are the kinds of roles I'm often given. But uh, no, I mean, I grew up in Argentina until I was 11. So I knew those landscapes and I really was happy to be out in the middle of them on horseback. And it was, a, it was like a paid, well, it wasn't really paid. <laughs> Nobody got paid. It was, a, it was a vacation, a work vacation in a way. It was a lot of fun. The ending of the film is, I'm sure you'd agree, cryptic, very mysterious. Can you give us any insight into what Alonzo is talking about here? I think it's I think it's best that people take away whatever they want to from it. I'm as hesitant as I'm sure he is to uh, to tell you what to think about it. What I like about directors like Lisandro Alonso or David Cronenberg, once again, is that. Uh, they are directors, they are artists who ask a lot of questions but don't give answers. And I think that's the best kind of artist. Fair enough. Vigo, thank you so much. Congratulations.